Welcome to Good Grief Hotline, a place for all the brokenhearted to grieve. Our team of highly trained connection operators are here for you when your relationship reaches the end. No one should have to go through this alone. And here at Good Grief Hotline, we ensure a friend who will listen. Give us a call today to begin your journey towards healing. Because the only way to heal is to grieve. Because sometimes talking to anyone is better than no one. Good Grief Hotline, what would you like to talk about today? Hello? Uh, uh, this is Rodney. Sorry, I've, I've never called before. Hi Rodney, my name is Candace. What would you like to talk about today? It's my ex-boyfriend, Christopher. I ended things last week, and I think I made a mistake. Why do you think you made a mistake? Everywhere I go, I think I can see him. Does that even make sense? I went to the grocery store last week, and I thought he was there scanning my red wine and yogurt cups. I, I went for a run at the reservoir and swore I saw him at the dog park playing fetch with a golden retriever. Does Christopher have a dog? No. Did he get a dog? It wasn't him. My brain can't get over him. I hear his voice in the host of NPR's Marketplace. That is the worst segment of them all, but now I have to listen to it every day because it is the only way Christopher will be in my car with me again. Why do you think you keep seeing him everywhere? I think the universe is giving me a sign. I messed up. I need Christopher in my life. Why did you end the relationship? I didn't come out until I was older. Christopher was one of my first boyfriends, and we settled down fast. We moved in together, and I felt like I was missing something. I wanted to go out, get experience, meet people. Well, did you tell Christopher how you're feeling? I couldn't. Why not? I was too busy complaining about all the things that bothered me. Like what? It was a bunch of little things. The way he didn't pick up his clothes, or when I would talk about my day, he was too busy watching Real Housewives. So you ended it? I ended it because I thought I wanted something different. One day, I just left the apartment and never went back. Now I'm sitting in my car at 9 o'clock every morning, listening to Marketplace and crying into my coffee. Have you spoken to Christopher since he moved out? I tried, but he won't answer the phone. How long were you two together? A year. We moved in together after two months. Were you happy when you moved in? Yes. Maybe. I thought if I moved in with him that it would make things better. Hmm. I was wrong. About what? I thought I wanted something new, but what I wanted, what I want, is Christopher. I want to buy a house. I want to adopt a baby. I, I want to get a damn golden retriever. I want him back. I want him. I am so sorry, Rodney. What do I do now? Uh, we don't give advice. As connection operators, we're here to listen and ask questions. But I need advice. That's the whole reason I called. Uh, would you like to talk about what you've been doing since you moved out? No, I need advice on how to get Christopher back. I'm so sorry, Rodney. Please, you, you, you don't understand. I need Christopher back. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to talk about with me today? Getting Christopher back. I'm so lost. I, I just need someone to tell me what to do next. Rodney, only you know what's best to do next. Don't give me that bullshit! What good is that advice line if you're not going to give advice? We aren't an advice line. We're here to listen. A lot of good listening got me. I listened to my gut and I lost Christopher. I'm sorry, Rodney. I just need something, Candace. Just anything. Rodney, every relationship has a beginning and an end. Is this the end? What does that mean? I, I don't want it to be the end. Is this the end? I don't know why you're asking me. I'm just trying to get my boyfriend back. Is this the end? No, no. It can't be the end. 
Is this the end? Give us a call today to begin your journey towards healing because the only way to heal is to grieve. Good Grief Hotline is a private organization and does not take responsibility for any damages related to your mental or physical well-being after your call. We do not provide psychiatry services and do not serve as an alternative to therapy. Your calls will be recorded to improve our services and your data will be available to our operators after your call. Thank you for your cooperation.